Hello, my dear students. This is our second week of this semester, and in this week, I will go to uh, teach about uh, bisection method. It's a popular method in numerical, um, popular algorithm in numerical methods. Um, and uh, in theory, we uh, already learn how to bisection methods work. Now, we'll start our work. Uh, I will give uh, all the mm, necessary coding as well as algorithm in this slide for your better understanding and also you can implement uh, this easily. Now, uh, in bisection method, at first I would like to uh, describe about the algorithm. So, at first, uh, uh, you have to start your program by using some basic things uh, for the C programming as we uh, do our program by using C program. So uh, you have to open uh, your code blocks or NetBeans, which is easier for you or which is compatible for you. Anyone can uh, use, uh, anyone can, uh, mm, any one of these uh, software you can use. Uh, Okay, at first, uh, start your program and uh, um, take, take um, some numbers from the keyboards, uh, which is uh, some variables value. Then uh, check whether function of A uh, multiplied by function of B less than or equals to zero. If uh, it's uh, the multiplication result is less than zero, then you can proceed or you can exit and uh, print the message, which is an error message. Uh, this is because uh, the value of um, function of A and value of function of B, both of which we multiplied, uh, must be less than zero. If uh, it's not less than zero, that means that there is an error in your code. So you have to recheck the program. Or uh, may you may proceed. Uh, then uh, um, repeat. Uh, if you proceed, uh, then uh, please repeat uh, the steps uh, seven to eleven. Uh, in seven number steps, uh, you can see that uh, you need to find a value of x, uh, which is the uh, um, average of uh, a and b. So. Um, then uh, check again whether the value of um, x into a greater than zero. If it, yes, then uh, you just uh, swap the value of x by a, else the swap the value of x by b. Then check again uh, the Absolute value of x minus is less than or equals uh, less than tolerance, uh, which uh, you take from uh, the keyboard, uh, then print the output value. Okay, mm. Mm. there is an example for you, which is I, I have shown uh, here. Find the root of the equation, which is x squared minus 4x minus 10 equals to 0 by using bisection method, but uh, you have to count only two decimal points. Uh, and must we do this program using C programming? Okay, there is the code which I have given for you. Uh, please type this code in your uh, code blocks and NetBeans and then run the program. Okay. okay and there you can see the output. Term. For some values like a equals to minus two, b equals to minus one, and the tolerance which you given from the keyboard, which is a point zero zero one, and the maximum iteration here I have given thirty. You may change yeah, maximum maximum iterations values, which may be forty, fifty, or less than thirty. Okay, and this is your desired result. Thank you all. Thank you, my dear students. You have a um, live session class uh, which you will be held every Thursday from uh, um, 6 to 7 p.m. Please try to attend the live session class so that you can understand uh, 
easily and if you have any query or face any difficulties please let me know through e-learning okay thank you all